All right, so today's video, I'm gonna talk about how our brain doesn't do really well with being told not to think about something. So for example, if I tell you not to think about a polar bear, typically what happens is the first thing that comes to mind is a polar bear. So instead of telling yourself to not think about something that is upsetting or distressing, what we're gonna do is we're going to set it aside for a later time when it's more appropriate. When you have more time, when it's less stressful, when you're in therapy, whatever it is. So this is the container exercise. So what I want you to do is I want you to imagine a container that's going to be big enough and strong enough to hold disturbing thoughts, memories, images, what have you. Um, one caveat to this is that whatever we put in there, it can't be a part of yourself. So if you are more of a dissociative person and have different parts or aspects, it's gonna be really important not to put them in the container, but pretty much anything else is, is fair game. And so then once we've chosen the container, um, and again, sky's the limit because it's an imaginal container, so whatever is gonna work for you, we're also gonna want to imagine giving a um, physical form and substance to the disturbing things that are going inside of the container. Again, it can be represented by whatever it is that you want it to be, but um, it's gonna have to be something physical so that you can imagine putting it physically in the container. So I'm going to walk you through the exercise just really briefly right now. I want you to think about something that was mildly disturbing or upsetting to you that happened in the last day or two. And so I want you to close your eyes and I want you to bring up an image of that container. And then I want you to turn that disturbing thought, feeling, or memory into a physical form of some sort. And we're going to allow that item to go into the container. We're not gonna force it. We're gonna just gently allow it to go in there. And in your mind, I like to encourage people to kind of look around the room, make sure you got all the different pieces um, of that disturbing image and that you've gotten them all in the container. And then close or seal the container in whatever way that you need to. And then I want you to test it. Make sure there's no way for anything to kind of work its way out. If it doesn't feel secure enough, add another layer of protection, security, you know, what have you um, to it until it feels secure, like nothing's going to make it out unless you specifically take it out. And then I want you to metaphorically put it on the shelf for safekeeping to come back to at a later time. And I want you to just do that, open your eyes, and I want you to notice the difference in how you feel now versus when you were thinking of that disturbing memory earlier. So, Practice it, uh, practice it on the smaller items so that when it comes to something that's a lot more disturbing or um, upsetting to you, that it's easier to use this skill. As always, um, practice, practice, practice. Uh, good luck, and I will see you in the next video.